Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back. My name is Illustrate and in today's video we'll be talking about Save the World State of Development for October 2018. Oh. Oh my gosh, so we have a lot of stuff to go over and a very limited amount of time to do it in. Um, so first, the first big thing is it says there will be no free to play in 2018. This is big news because previously the devs said that Fortnite saved the world would be going free to play this year. But let's go over what it says in the official post. It says... We've decided to move the free-to-play launch of Save the World out of this year. We're working on a broad set of features, reworks, and back-end system scaling we believe are needed to go free-to-play. Save the World has grown consistently since our launch in July 2017, and Fortnite overall has experienced unprecedented growth, scaling up for the legions of player heroes who will be joining the fight is key to providing an excellent experience this applies to all of our players old and new so we're taking the time to get this right what that means is they're basically going to iron out all the bugs iron out all the issues finish the canny valley storyline finish the twine peak storyline and that's what they want to have accomplished um, they're also planning to change the U UI a little bit and make it more flashier, you know, less, uh, they, they, they've changed the UI already, I mean, they've changed, like, how stuff, uh, is displayed on the screens and the lettering they changed in the last update, um, but anyway, they want to make it even more flashy with all that, you know, money that they've made, <laughs> unprecedented growth. To thank our founders, both new and old, if you log in and play during the Fortnite Mares event, you'll receive both Brainiac Jonesy and Skull Ranger Ramirez for free. So basically what this is saying is you're not going to have to spend any gold, you're not going to have to farm them out of llamas, but you're going to get those first two heroes for free. Those first two sort of new heroes. I'm guessing though that Skull Ranger Ramirez will be the urban assault class which is the most broken most overpowered soldier class in the game and it shouldn't even be a regular soldier type it should be like super rare or mythic or something cuz you know arguably it's not even really an argument but urban assault is stronger than the mythic grenadier but anyway um it says for those of you who want to start playing right now we've got you starting this week we'll be hosting a 50 percent off sale for the standard deluxe super deluxe and limited founders packs that's interesting um so that means if you haven't got saved the world yet now is a good time to get it with the 50 percent off kudos to you save a lot of money and get in there playing the the the, the fun original game mode that started it all before Battle Royale. Uh, next up it says there will be front end improvements. The front end UI should feel more like an integrated and understandable part of the game. So they're basically simplifying the game for new players and making it easier to get into. Which I don't blame them. The more easier and, and pick up and play you can make a game, the more money you can make for that game. And that's from a business standpoint. We'll release an in-depth look at all these incoming cha changes in the next few weeks to prepare for the rollout in the next few months. So this isn't going to be here for a few months but it looks pretty cool the pictures that they they are sharing with us which I'll put up on screen. Um, it says, now this one I read over earlier and I was a little bit like, what? 
but it says that there will be a new hero system it says we're excited to announce a brand new updated hero system this system has been redesigned to offer a more flexible approach to customizing your loadout with more options and room for creativity you'll have a total of six hero slots to manage up from the previous three First, choosing a main hero to command and up to five additional which will determine your perks and traits. We're looking to expand the variety of loadouts you can create, putting the tools in your hands to make meaningful new decisions. We'll put together a comprehensive blog to run you through the system when we finalize all the details. Now that sounds weird because right now we have a tactical slot and we have a support slot and that's how you you buff your heroes abilities but it sounds interesting I was hoping for like a loadout like a configure uh, your your character's loadout maybe you're playing a constructor and you're doing a melee constructor you could save that melee constructor loadout so you could do damage are you doing constructor just to protect the base and you could save the constructor that's more of a defensive constructor's loadout. Fort Nightmares, the most ghoulish event of the year is back. Old heroes are returning along with many new faces. So that's confirmation that there will be new heroes for um, Fort Nightmares. So it's not just going to be the eight heroes that we got last year. It's going to be the eight heroes plus the two free heroes and plus however many more heroes that they decide to add they have a lot of new skins and battle royale right now that i hope they can bring over to save the world and hopefully they can make them some kind of uh, different class that's unique to them to make them feel special it says you'll head to hexylvania to revisit last year's vlad moon rising quest if you played the event last year you may notice a few changes and even more Vlad than before, new visitors to Hexylvania will deliver some spooky world saving. Deliver some spooky world saving as Ray and company confront history's evilest Vlad. Thank you for joining us on this journey. And thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you've seen today and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button, tap that subscribe button, and smash that subscribe button.